and it infuriates them that we refuse to bend, refuse to change, refuse to yield to fear. You are Boston strong. But America is strong. They're not unlike you all around America. That's what makes us so proud of this city and this state, what makes me so proud to be an American. It's that we have never, ever, ever yielded to fear. And you have struggled to get through the good days and the bad. I know, because so many of you have told me about this year of first. The first birthday without your beloved son. The first holiday without your daughter. The first July 4th where the fireworks scared, scared you. The first step on a new leg. The first sleep without a nightmare. The first day when you believed that you could live your life in a way that corresponded with your dreams. Those words so many of us have used to describe your year of grief and recovery. The thing we witnessed in the aftermath of that vicious attack last year, and that I submit we are here today to celebrate, is precisely that sense of community, that enduring and transcendent display you and so many others showed last year of kindness and grace. There are no strangers here. In the days and weeks after the marathon last year, we were reminded how few degrees of separation there are, in fact, between us. To our fellow survivor community, what would we do without each other? We should have never met this way, but we are so grateful for each other. We have shared our despair, sense of loss, and challenges, as well as our hope gratitude, and triumphs. We have been there for each other, and we will continue to be there to pick each other up and celebrate milestones for years to come.